annotated bibliography. To effectively utilize that research in your work, you need to understand and evaluate the research sources. An annotated bibliography is a way to do both, understand and evaluate sources. A bibliography is a list of sources one has used for researching a topic, for example, books, journal articles, websites, periodicals, etc. And an annotation is a summary and or evaluation of those sources. An annotated bibliography generally includes a summary of the source followed by an evaluation and completed by a reflection paragraph discussing how each source will fit into your work. Whether you provide just the summary of the source or you summarize and evaluate or do all three, summarize, evaluate and reflect will depend on the instructions provided by your professor. I require all three, so all my students will summarize, evaluate and reflect upon each source article they use within their paper. When summarizing your sources, look for answers to the following questions. If someone asked you what this article or book is about, what would you say? The length of your summary will depend on the original source. Make sure you read and summarize the full text of your source and not just the abstract. After summarizing your source, the next step is to evaluate it. You want to know is your source useful? How does it compare with other sources in your bibliography? Is the information reliable? Check the author's credentials. What is the author's educational background? What organization is your author affiliated with? See if the author cites other experts within the work. Is this source biased or objective? Does the author give you an entire picture of the situation? What is the goal of the source? Is it trying to persuade you into taking some action? Or is it warning you about something? After summarizing and assessing the source, the final step is to reflect on it. When reflecting on a source, ask yourself, how does the source information fit into your work? Has it changed how you think about your topic? Now the question is, why should you write an annotated bibliography? An annotated bibliography is excellent preparation for a research project. It forces you to read each source more critically instead of just collecting information. Writing an annotated bibliography helps you gain a good perspective on what is being said about the topic. Format Since we are using MLA format in this class, your annotated bibliography will be written in MLA format. Use Times New Roman font size 12. Citations will be double-spaced while annotations will be single-spaced. Each citation should be followed by three paragraphs. First, the summary paragraph, then the evaluation, followed by the reflection paragraph, double space between paragraphs. Now let us take a quick look at a sample annotated bibliography. Notice that everything in the sample is formatted in MLA style. You have a running header with your last name and page number in the top right corner, the title block with your name, your professor's name, course title and date in the top left corner, followed by the citations and the three annotation paragraphs. Notice that the citations are double spaced, but the annotation paragraphs are single spaced. List your sources in alphabetic order. 